Being obligate intracellular parasites, the rickettsia survival depends on entry, growth, and replication within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic host cells, typically endothelial cells. Because of this, rickettsia cannot live in artificial nutrient environments and is grown either in tissue or embryo cultures, typically, chicken embryos are used. However, unlike chlamydia, mycoplasma, and ureaplasma, rickettsial organisms possess true cell walls similar to other gram-negative bacteria. The majority of rickettsia bacteria are susceptible to antibiotics of the tetracycline group. Despite the similar name, rickettsia bacteria do not cause rickets, which is a result of vitamin D deficiency. Rickettsia species are carried by many arthropods, including chigger, ticks, fleas, and lice, and cause diseases in humans such as typhus, rickettsia alpox, boutonnus fever, African tick bite fever, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Flinders Island spotted fever and Queensland tick typhus, Australian tick typhus. They are one of closest living relatives to the bacteria that were the origin of the mitochondria organelles that exist inside most eukaryotic cells. The method of growing rickettsia in chicken embryos was invented by Ernest William Goodpasture and his colleagues at Vanderbilt University in the early 1930s.